financial accounting to just call it this should be grouped up in the category of cash but we're just going to we're going to call that the checking account we don't need a, another category for accounts receivable it's just a current asset if you see subcategories of these accounts other than current assets in software it's probably because the software is using these accounts in a different way needs needs to have special uses for those accounts therefore creating another category that's not usually on a financial statement as a subcategory type of account okay in any case we're going to say this is going to be cash equal to the cash and so do i want to build this whole thing out let's just add all the accounts here then this one's going to be the accounts receivable i was going to build it as we go but let's just build the whole thing out accounts receivable and then this one is also a current asset on the inventory so then i'm going to i'm going to make this cell a little bit larger between the cb and the cc make it a bit larger and we're going to call that total current assets and let's do our indentation stuff here so i'm going to i'm going to say that this this is current assets meaning it's a subcategory indicated by the colon i'm also going to show it's a subcategory by indenting it go into the alignment group and indenting it and then i'm going to show it's a subcategory by putting my information into an inner column which i'll sum up in the outer column but a bit uh, overkill on on the fact that it's going to be current and i'm going to pick up that zero which will pick it up and change once we complete it I'm going to say this is going to be equal to the twenty thousand five hundred. And this one's going to be equal to the 2896. And then I'll underline it here. Home tab font group underline. Let's do another indentation on the total down here. Alignment indentation. And then we'll sum up in the CD column. CDs are almost obsolete these days, aren't they? Because now we got like other stuff, streaming stuff. I don't even use my CD player anymore. Whatever. I had a cassette player once. Any case, let's do the next one. Then we're going to say that's the total current assets. And then we could just have the total assets because we don't have any long term. Oh, yeah, we got property, plant, and equipment. So let's say property, plant, let's just say plant and equipment and colon. Now, the property, plant, and equipment might be called depreciable asset. It might just be called fixed assets. This is something that would have a separate category, as you can see in normal financial statement reporting, and software will often call it something different. So if I was to add these accounts into the accounting software, they would probably need to be categorized with a special asset category.